Nope. Mike Duffy is installing a battery in Boeing's latest X-Plane. It's called Phantom Swift. It's a 17% scaled flying laboratory that Boeing Phantom Works designed for DARPA's vertical takeoff and landing X-Plane competition. You can actually change the uh, rotor direction. That's airplane mode. That's helicopter mode. Duffy assembled a team of engineers in Philadelphia to design, build, and fly a remote-controlled prototype to demonstrate the design in time to meet DARPA's proposal deadline. It was a good chance for a lot of the guys to do like program work, full-scale large aircraft to actually see from start to finish their in, in complete fruition, their, their design being flown. Scott Bauer says the ducted fans on the wingtips and two open body fans are pretty radical. He should know he helped design them and it wouldn't have gotten off the drawing board in time without rapid prototyping. With the capabilities that we now have in, in the, the emerging technologies, this is, this is a possibility, this is a reality. You can take an analysis and, and build and fly a scale working prototype in, in a month. Actually, for Phantom Swift, less than a month. It took three days to design, 10 days to get the parts, and just two weeks to build and fly it. A three-day design cycle and a, a 10-day build, uh, there's only a certain amount of things that, that we could make or have ordered in, in that short amount of time. The picture is worth a thousand words, so I think you know, a flying model is worth a million words. So you know, no matter what words you put in a proposal to actually have hardware that you can demonstrate and they can tangibly see what is being proposed goes a long way towards winning that proposal. DARPA wants something that can fly 400 knots, 